He is Central New York's forgotten Hall of Famer. He's Larry Costello. He's a six-time NBA All-Star and one of 14 men to win NBA championships as a player and as a coach. Who else has done that, you ask? Guys like Bill Russell and Steve Kerr. In NBA history, no expansion team won a championship faster than the Costello coached 1971 Milwaukee Bucks. The Bucks wouldn't win it again until Giannis, some 50 years later. Still, Costello was always a Central New York kind of guy. He was the Manoa Comet. Lawrence Ronald Costello was called Ronnie when he started Manoa High School in a tiny village near Syracuse. The low ceiling in the St. Mary's gym forced him to master a two-handed set shot, and Costello would take that shot to the NBA and lead the league in free throw shooting. And in his 50s, he still knocked down free throws. Then it was off to Niagara University, where for reasons not completely clear, he became Larry. Niagara was among the elite of college basketball. In a six overtime win, Costello played all 69 minutes and 40 seconds until fouling out. Niagara then switched his jersey number from 24 to 69. In the NBA, Costello's career took off with the Syracuse Nationals. He was tough, he was fast and relentless. Jerry West called him the toughest defender he'd ever faced. Costello won a ring in 1967 with Philadelphia. He was mostly hurt that season, while Wilt Chamberlain, Hal Greer, Chet Walker, and Billy Cunningham blew through the league. The 76ers win by three points, the glory and the NBA title all theirs. After he retired, the new Milwaukee franchise hired Costello as their first head coach. They won a coin flip and drafted Lou Alcindor, who as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar became one of the most transformational players in sports history. Costello coached the Bucks like he played. He was obsessive, he was demanding, he had a bulging playbook full of rules and plays. With Alcindor and the great Oscar Robertson, the Bucks won it all in 1971. No matter what Larry Costello accomplished in the NBA though, the road always led back to central New York. When he played for the Nats, he lived at home with his parents and his siblings. When he briefly retired from playing, he coached the new East Syracuse Manoa boys basketball team. He lived on the shores of Oneida Lake and caught perch from a boat named Hoopster. One thing eluded Costello during his lifetime, the Basketball Hall of Fame. An effort in the 1990s failed, despite support from Abdul-Jabbar and from Chamberlain. Costello died of cancer in Florida in 2001. He again returned to Manoa to be buried in St. Mary's Cemetery. Etched in the gravestone's upper left corner is a backboard and a basketball, a lasting monument to a man devoted to family, home, and the sport he loved.